Hi, welcome to EK Penny. This video, we're going to look at car safety gear with a few EK tips thrown in too. So I'll take you through the glove box items. I've got two pairs of sunnies and some reading glasses, hand cream, sanitizer, mints, pens, label for and I've got the boat on the roof, emergency gloves, for first aid, just disposable gloves. Tape measure, that's for the diesel fill to take it out of the petrol filler thing. Of course some stickers, paper for emergencies, so these guys will go into this little container. Got some tissues and wet ones, wipes, they'll go into that container. So there's all the items neatly packed in the glove box. So it's just the essentials, no rubbish, unnecessary stuff or clutter. This bit's just for the forest that goes in the centre console here. But as you take it out so the phone fits in there. That special nut was to take out this diesel fill. If there's an emergency you need to take it out. You need a jerry can to fill up the car or something. So with this I've had it fitted, it stops you filling up with a petrol nozzle which is smaller, you have to have a bigger diesel nozzle to fit into here. So it's just a safety device because there is a video where I filled up with petrol accidentally, so it's just to stop that happening in the future. Down in the passenger pocket I've just got a variety of maps, these ones are free ones, these ones are from NRMA but you can't buy them anymore. So it is an advantage to have actual maps, even this day of GPS, because it gives you a whole area at once, whereas the GPS will give you just one little section. And if you've got a power failure or other disaster, it's good to have paper maps as a backup. And there's our paper maps in the front passenger door. So we've got our centre console stuff here. We've got a lightning cable to charge iPhones. USB-C cable to charge my Oppo Reno 2Z. Got a headphone to headphone cable to plug a device directly into the car's audio. Or you can use Bluetooth. Some playing cards if you're stuck somewhere, got nothing to do. Emergency hammer, that will break window glass if the car's submerged or something like that. You need to get out in an emergency. It's also got a seat belt cutter on there as well. Got a variety of torches, got a head torch, got a, my little new lantern, there's a shorts video about that lantern. That contains a head torch which can be taken out, pretty nifty little compact gadget. It's got hooks so you can hang it somewhere. Two more handheld torches and some coins for emergencies or coffee. Sometimes you need a little bit of change, car wash, anything like that. So the torches are useful if you need to change a wheel at night or there's another emergency at night. So these all go in the centre console. So there's our centre console packed. The lantern's got a glow in the dark little switch there, that's why it's lit up. So the forest has got a headphone socket input for the audio, USB socket for charging, and a cigarette lighter socket for charging too. Put the cover in. All neatly set there. So this goes behind the driver's seat. Caravan towing guide's just got useful information about towing. Plastic drop sheets. So that's good for collecting water by condensation and other uses. A little homemade wind deflector. If you've got a candle or something here you want to shelter from the wind that stops the wind hitting it. So you've got the passenger seat pocket. In this day and age of course masks. High vis flag just if you've got a boat on the roof or a trailer if something's sticking out you put that flag to warn other drivers something's sticking out behind you. Ice scraper for the windscreen in case you parked overnight and a sick bag if the passenger is not feeling well. 
in the back here I've got my nifty garbage bag just straps around the center console there also got the sun shade you need that in Australia it goes on the windscreen on the inside when you park to stop the sun heating up the vehicle so I've got the two pockets behind they're all done so this is the first aid kit that goes under the passenger seat on the floor reason for a separate one here in case the back of the car is crushed in or something like that and you can't open the boot it's good to have a second first aid kit in the main cabin area got velcro on here to help it stick to the carpet so it's just got some bandages face shield for CPI you can put that over the victim's face Panadol, alcohol wipes, water sterilization tablets, some band-aids, amodium for diarrhea, and some more gloves. So that box just lives in there, the Velcro keeps it from sliding around, in case you need to access first aid gear from within the cabin. So there's the back seats. All done. So we've got our cargo net area that goes behind the back seats in the boot area. So we've got two towels, some doggy bag containers for takeaway food, coffee cups, some other drinking cups. So these have been on a previous video, if you want to look that up. Two umbrellas, produce bags for veggies, two spare shopping bags, some cutlery and some metal drinking straws. So all this is handy for picnics and things like that, as well as emergencies. So here's a string bag. All these items are nice and neat, and it's easy to access the stuff here. I think I got this from Aldi. It's just an aftermarket one that just clips on the headrests here. And here, just Velcros. And it's got two clips that go in the center headrest. So it's a pretty nifty and handy little thing goes in the back seats in the cargo area got my shopping bags too to stop using single-use plastic bags you bring your own reusable bags to the shops so that just slots slots in there so this is where the main safety gear is in the boot and the spare tire well underneath the boot floor so I'll take you through all the gear got old sunglasses with the clip-ons so you can use them for night driving too in case I've forgotten mine got some temp pegs here to use with the tarp so you can do a lean-to with the tarp on the car to keep the sun off it or whatever these little nifty containers I got from a local dollar store so it's clear so you can see what's in it but I've also written what's on it so I've got some wire mirror to reflect at emergency vehicles or aircraft or whatever key rings got lots of uses for them some magnifying glass and some sewing odds and ends buttons and a needle and stuff like that and these just come apart each unit just unscrews and you can just get to the contents I've got this paper towel in there just to stop it rattling around same little container idea, I've got twine, glasses, repair stuff, nose pads and screws and things and stationery, paper clips, rubber bands and things, toilet paper, very essential. Got a collapsible 10 litre water bottle here with a little dry bag that I've put it in to keep it sealed and dry and dust free. Biggie is a spare wheel. I prefer a full-size spare that a Seabury Forester has. I don't like the space saver little tyres that are skinny. So if you're going to the snow or somewhere remote, you've got a full decent spare wheel equivalent to what the car's got so you can just keep going again. This is a Subaru bits that go inside the spare wheel. This goes upside down in the car. So you've got your jack. That's a tow hook to screw into the bumper front and rear. And the spanner for the wheel it's got a, a handle for the jack that goes in the underfloor area as well that goes into the jack to wind it 
We've got our tow ball attachment, so that's removable. Don't have it in the car all the time. So I can store it in the boot area if it's not installed on the car. Tools for the tow bar, so I don't have to go looking for spanners. Gloves and a balakar cliver in case it's really cold and you're stuck somewhere. Backpack with some emergency clothes and a hat. Got toiletries here, sun cream, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap. Just in case I've got a billy, you can put that on a fire to boil water. And I've got some tea, soup, coffee, salt, some spoons, and some tea bags. Got some gloves for changing the spare wheel. Some rubber chocks when you're changing the spare wheel. Two high vis vests, so if you're changing the spare wheel or doing any work on the car day or night, recommend to put one of those on for safety. And they've got reflective strips for at night. Got some rags here. Subaru Forester instruction manual, in case you need to refer to it. And another first aid kit. So that's got bandages and other stuff like that. So the other one's got the Panadol and other bits that goes inside the passenger seat. Got a pocket saw, so it's got a keyring in each end and some wire, so you can saw something. You can also put a branch and make it into a bow saw, sort of like that if you can see it. Trowel, garden shears, scissors, and a saw. So if you're on a fire trail and got branches sticking out into the fire trail, you can cut them off before you drive your car through to stop your car getting all scratched. Little multi-tool pliers and pen knife and stuff. Got a um, little pack that goes into that case. So it's good to have little bags and cases to compartmentalize all the stuff that's the same so it doesn't all go into the one mess. Spare shoelaces, whistle, flint for fire starting chart with the Morse code, duct tape, compass, so all that goes into that little bag. Got some spare Forrester bulbs, um, clutch pedal pad, so they wear out occasionally. Fuses, matches, and a Ziploc bag, so stops them getting wet. Can get waterproof matches too but I've just got normal ones, duct tape, garbage bags, rope, little screwdrivers for doing glasses and other things like that, and zip ties for doing temporary repairs. So all this gear goes into this bag, so I've reused an old quilt cover bag. Underneath the spare wheel, got some screwdrivers, more rope, a silk scarf for filtering water, so you've got sediment and water, you can filter it out with that. And then you still use the disinfecting tablets, which are in the other passenger compartment first aid kit. Got two little 500ml water bottles, which are squishable. Got a reflective triangle, so you just set that up into a triangle shape. If there's an emergency at night, two little flashing torches there. Some candles, fire starters spare rag, a tarp, so you can sit on that or if you're working on the car, you can put that against the car to make like a lean-to tent. And got a fire blanket, so that's useful in bushfires, you can cover yourself with that fire blanket or put out fires or whatever. That's a large 1.8 metre by 1.8 metre, so that can cover a whole person or wrap around a person that's on fire. Lots of different uses, so got to pack all this into the car again now. So the Subaru Forester's got a nice well underneath the floor. That's where the spare wheel goes. So some bits will go under the spare wheel, some bits will go in the spare wheel, and then some bits go around it. And you've got these little compartments here, which you can slot different things. The toilet paper fits exactly in there, which is quite handy. And I made this little strap here. It's got two carabiners and a bit of string to hold this lid up because that it's not included with the car. For eight years this has been annoying me. 
can't hold that cover up. So very recently I fashioned this to solve this problem. So who would have guessed all that safety gear was neatly stowed underneath the floor? So I've got final things and my picnic blanket. So I'm just going to fold that in half, put it flat in the boot. Anti-slip rubber mat, so when you've got objects they're not going to slide around. And I'm also going to put my cargo net on top of that. So if you've got bags and things you can put them under that net to stop them sliding around as well. Almost there. So there you have it. Car's got all the gear in it stowed away. Safety gear underneath here. Cargo net so you can put bags under here and they won't slide around. Shopping bags. Frequently accessed things there. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to EcoPenny.